Hey, it's Andrew here. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about social security changes, the next two stimulus packages, and daily news updates as well. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer just made a massive announcement and Democrats plan to now move forward with the budget reconciliation process. And this is going to have massive implications on the chances for a fourth round of stimulus checks, as well as monthly checks for social security and an increase in social security benefits in general. So let's discuss the details in this video, but before we do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I also have a second channel, so if you could do me a huge favor, click on the link that's in the description of this video, go ahead and subscribe to my second channel. I'm going to be giving away a stimulus check on that channel just as a thank you for supporting my work. I've also started a petition urging President Biden to keep his promise and increase social security benefits. So if you'd like to support our cause, the link for that is going to be pinned in the comments of this video. And thanks in advance for your support. So Chuck Schumer announced that Democrats will begin the budget reconciliation process. But this is very similar to what they did with the last stimulus package. If you guys remember, Democrats began the budget reconciliation process, but only in the background while at the same time continuing to negotiate with Republicans. They are essentially calling this a two-track process. Remember, Democrats continued to negotiate with Republicans, but they had the budget reconciliation process going in the background. So as soon as they cut the cord on Republican negotiations, they were able to quickly implement the budget reconciliation stimulus plan. So now we're moving in the same direction as we did with the last stimulus package. So is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing for stimulus? Is this good for seniors or bad for social security benefits? Well, on its face, it looks good, right? Democrats can go ahead and approve a stimulus package without a single Republican vote. But we have to point out that the Senate parliamentarian recently changed her mind and said that Democrats can only do one more budget recon bill this year when just a few months ago she said they could do two more budget recon bills. Now, doing two more budget recon bills would make it a lot easier for Democrats to approve two more stimulus packages because Democrats need to get all 50 votes in the Senate from Democrats in order to get a deal done. And breaking them up into two smaller packages makes it a lot easier to get this done. The bigger the package gets, the more complicated it gets, and the harder it is to unite liberal Democrats like Bernie Sanders and conservative Democrats like Joe Manchin to get them united on a massive package becomes more and more difficult the bigger it gets. This is why doing two more budget recon bills was a really good thing. Well, since the Senate parliamentarian changed her mind, now if Democrats are not able to come up with a bipartisan infrastructure plan, they're going to have to use budget recon to get that done, which means if they still want to get the second stimulus package done, the American Families Plan, they're going to have to combine them for a massive stimulus bill, which again is going to make it more and more difficult to get a deal done. Now, let's quickly take a look and see exactly what Senate Majority Chuck Schumer had to say. Then we'll discuss the details and how we think this is going to affect the possibility of a fourth round of stimulus checks, monthly stimulus checks for families, monthly stimulus checks for Social Security benefits, as well as an increase in Social Security benefits in general. It's good to be back. We had a great caucus meeting today. Um, and uh, we, got, we have to get a lot done. So I made it clear to my caucus we're moving ahead in, on two very important issues, voting rights and build back better. Now on infrastructure, we continue to work well on the, on the, on the, uh, the process that, that goes in two directions. One, bipartisan and we're working on a bipartisan infrastructure proposal to meet the demands of the 21st century. As I've said from the start, discussions on this whole big infrastructure proposal, and when I say infrastructure, I mean physical and human. We're not just talking about physical. But the discussions on them are progressing on two tracks. One track is bipartisan, and the second track pulls in other elements of Biden's American jobs plan and American families plan, which will be considered even if it doesn't have bipartisan support, as will pay for be considered even if they don't have bipartisan support. Our Senate committees are working on both tracks at the same time. 
And as I've said from the start, in order to move forward on infrastructure, we must include bold action on climate. At the moment, both tracks, as I said, are moving forward and progressing very well. Tomorrow, I'm convening a meeting with all 11 Democratic members of the Senate Budget Committee regarding a fiscal year 22 budget resolution. And now that President Biden's fiscal 22 budget request has been received by Congress, the Budget Committee can begin the important work of producing a budget resolution, especially with respect to the Jobs and Family Plan. As you know, a budget resolution will outline how we go forward and includes um, issues that are affected, that are part of reconciliation. So both are moving forward, the bipartisan track and the track on reconciliation. And both we hope uh, to get done in the month of July, both the budget resolution and the bipartisan bill. Uh, after six years of Republican obstruction and four years of disastrous Trump presidency, we know we got a lot of work to do to get our country back on track, but we also know the American people elected Democrats to accomplish big, bold things, and we're on track to get it done. In the caucus today, there were many different viewpoints that were discussed. We have a broad caucus with a wide range of opinion, but there was total agreement that we must have unity and get it done. And we are very, very pleased with how we're moving forward on this issue. Senator so again, this sounds very similar to the tone that Democrats had with the last stimulus package, right? Schumer continues to put the pressure on Republicans to either work with them or watch them pass their own package. Now, to be honest with you, Republicans understand that they have some leverage here, right? Because on the one hand, Republicans don't want Democrats to pass massive stimulus packages. So that would lead you to believe that, hey, Mitch McConnell and Republicans, they should compromise, do a moderately sized infrastructure plan, just so at least Democrats won't do a massive one, essentially leading to an actual compromise with a medium sized bill that meets in the middle. However, Republicans understand that if they don't make a deal with Democrats, they're going to force Democrats to use budget recon to pass their infrastructure plan, which is going to make it harder for them to pass more stimulus because of everything I just explained. When you have conservative Democrats like Joe Manchin and liberal Democrats like Bernie Sanders who are polar opposites, despite the fact that they come from the same party, it's going to make it a lot harder to pass a $3 trillion plan that includes the American family stimulus as well as the infrastructure stimulus in one giant plan. Now, Mitch McConnell and Republicans understand this, and the last thing they want to do is make things easier for Democrats. So because of this, in my opinion, Republicans are not going to go any higher than that bipartisan plan. Remember last week, we talked about the bipartisan plan that five Republicans and five Democrats came together in the Senate and they proposed it's about a $1.2 trillion plan, which is a genuine compromise between what Republicans want and what Democrats want. I honestly think that is the best it's going to get when it comes to the infrastructure bipartisan plan. Now, in my opinion, that would honestly be a best case scenario for stimulus because that would allow Democrats to do a bipartisan bill on infrastructure get that done without using budget recon at all, then save budget recon for the American Families Plan, which will have direct stimulus payments, and not including infrastructure would make it a lot simpler to get that deal done, hopefully include social security changes, hopefully include monthly stimulus for social security. The White House has already said that they want monthly checks for families who have kids, and a lot of Democrats are even pushing for a fourth round of stimulus checks. However, if Democrats are forced to include infrastructure in that plan, it's going to make it a lot more complicated to get all of those things done. So in my opinion, Democrats should take the bipartisan deal, get that done, and then go ahead and move forward with budget recon to get the American Families Plan done. However, it's never that simple because the Democratic Party is having an issue with unity. We have liberals and conservatives within the Democratic Party who cannot agree even on the infrastructure deal. For example, the bipartisan deal, which was a genuine compromise, it has compromises, which means things were taken out that a lot of Democrats wanted to include. 
One thing, for example, is initiatives for climate change. Liberals like Bernie Sanders and specifically AOC are insisting that they will not vote for a bipartisan bill unless it includes initiatives for climate change. And even Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi has said that this bipartisan deal is going to be a tough sell because a lot of Democrats will not vote for this unless Biden promises to still approve the next stimulus package and include climate change, potentially include a fourth round of stimulus checks, include monthly checks for families that would last until 2025, potentially include monthly stimulus for Social Security, bigger checks in general for Social Security benefits, and multiple other things that Joe Biden promised on the campaign trail. So as you guys can see, despite the fact that Chuck Schumer has announced that the budget reconciliation process will begin, things are still really, really complicated. One thing is for sure. We will get one more stimulus package because Democrats do still have one more budget recon bill they can use before the end of 2021. And since the Senate parliamentarian announced that Democrats can only do one more budget recon bill this year, the expectation is that Chuck Schumer's budget recon process will include both the infrastructure plan and the American Families Plan into one massive budget reconciliation plan. At the same time, Democrats will continue to negotiate with Republicans in hopes of getting a bipartisan deal done on infrastructure in order to then save the budget recon bill simply for the American Families Plan. But guys, we'll have to wait and see what happens. I don't think Democrats will negotiate much longer. I do think we'll have a lot of updates in the next couple of weeks. So don't forget to subscribe. I will keep you updated on the next two stimulus packages, social security changes, and daily news updates as well. So thank you so much for watching, and until the next video, take care and have a great day.